Well, hello, hello, everybody, and Happy New Year. Uh, so we are going to get started today, and we are going to, uh, Mark and I are going to do uh, advanced YouTube. So I'm trying to get my screen set up here so I can see Mark and uh, do the presentation. Anyways, what we're going to do today is, as if you already have a YouTube channel set up, so it's not going to be on how to set up a YouTube channel. So it's not as if we have, or if you already have a YouTube channel set up. So what we're going to go over today is we are going to how to get free leads from YouTube. So it's basically, we're going to do two things. We're going to do it and show you how to get leads from your listings and how to market your actual videos from your listings and put them on YouTube. So that's gonna be one part of it. Another part of it is actually how to get buyers and sellers free through YouTube. So how to pick an actual topic, creating a title, um, using different tools to do that and thumbnails, things like that. So we're gonna go over all of that with you today. And then at the end, we are gonna review a couple channels. Um, so anyways, hang in there with us. So when, first of all, when you are looking to have a YouTube channel, uh, you wanna think about it as how can I get more buyers and sellers? And to do that, you can pick either a niche uh, so, for example, you can do move up buyers because then that helps you with buyers and sellers. You can do veterans, you can do whatever you want, or you can do it more generalized. Um, and it's it's really up to you. But to pick an actual topic is very important, uh, making sure that it's what people are searching for. So if you have your YouTube channel up and going, you want to go ahead and find keywords that are the most searched on YouTube for buyers and sellers. So it can be in a certain niche, move up buyers, or you can do, or move up, you know, sellers or whatever you want to do there. Or again, you can um, pick, you know, properties or pick any type of subject in real estate. So Mark, why don't you explain the keywords everywhere? Yeah, so Keywords Everywhere is in a, a Google Chrome extension. It's $10 for 10,000 keyword searches or $10 for a year. So what the, that means is if you don't use your 10,000 keyword searches in 12 months, then you've got to pay the $10 again. And what that does is you type in a keyword and like what it's what it's doing. And then what they do is they give you the price and for what what the cost is um, average pay-per-click, the competition, et cetera. So you can see it down there listed under the people search where the arrows are pointing the K for keywords everywhere. Um, it kind of gives you an idea of what people are searching for. Keyword surfer is free, but that, that also allows, shows you what the uh, search volume is, et cetera. There are two different platforms. I use uh, keywords everywhere. I pay the $10 a year. And it's hard to get through the whole, all 10,000 searches. Like you're just not gonna, like unless you just live on this, it's tough to do that. So pay the 80 cents a month. So where you do keywords everywhere, it's going to have a Chrome extension. Is that right, Mark? Yeah, so like when we show them later, you'll see on my thing, we'll go back over it. So I can demonstrate is like when I type something in, in Google, in Google Chrome, it'll show up to the right and then it'll click export to the CSV. Uh, and it'll show you kind of like what people are searching for, you know, selling my house in Boca Raton, finding a waterfront home in Deerfield Beach, uh, boats or houses with boat docks in South Florida. It'll kind of give you an idea of what the competition is because you want to always look and see, you know, do you want to go up against where it's really expensive? So you can see right there, like keywords, key Google AdWords. Like that search volume is a lot, but also the cost is a lot. So down there in the right. What you're looking for here is you're looking right here, the volume is between 500 and 5,000. 
So if you pick something that's too high, let's say 27,000, you're not going to rank because, so explain that to them, if you will, Mark. So, so yeah, like what that is, is there's so many things, like Boca Raton's too general. You're better off going more specific. Uh, Boca Raton, four bedroom, three car garage, pool home, something along those, like, and they'll give you what people are searching, typing in. Well, Boca Raton a- homes for sale, 5,400. Yeah. Um, uh, homes for sale yeah. in Boca Raton. Uh, houses in Boca Raton. So these are all examples of what you're looking for. And when you actually put the keywords in here, it's going to give you other options. What you're looking for here is the volume of 500 to 5,000 max. You don't want to go over 5,000. And five under 500 is too low. So the keywords that you are going to use and make videos on are going to be like, for example, if I wanted to talk about, um, you know, homes for sale in Boca Raton, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about, you know, off-market properties. So basically, all you're doing is that's what your title is going to be. Okay. So, for example, these are if you go into YouTube here, and this is your homepage on YouTube. So you just go into homepage on YouTube and then you hit this explore, right? This explore right here, okay? It's gonna show you these things right here. And then you're gonna go into trending and trending is going to show you just different types of news that people are looking for on YouTube. So it's different news that's trending on YouTube. And what you can do actually is you can do different trending news too. So it doesn't, your channel should be mostly on real estate or whatever you're doing, but it can also be trending news on other things because that will draw people to your channel. Okay, so you can, and you can just go right into YouTube. You go onto the homepage, then you hit on the explore, which is the the key right down from that. Once you get onto the explore, you just press on trending and it's gonna show you, unfortunately this orange bowl, when I did this was the number one thing that was trending here on my, on, on the pages that was being talked about. And then you go into news and trending news. So these were the top stories for that day. If you do that and you wanna create a video on that, it's going to draw people to your YouTube channel so that they will subscribe to see what else you're doing. So there are also paid programs that can help you in terms of what they're searching. Um, for so spy Fu is a program you pay for it's like forty dollars a month um it allows you to compare yourself to competitors um go look at the websites how people are finding your website um different things like that plus it like it allows you to choose hey maybe i should talk about this maybe like what is people are clicking on and what they're trying to find out is how should i refinance my home should i whatever uh is happening in terms of everything going on so then it's a good you know there are multiple programs spy foo we use a lot um plus we use it on our website so you can type in your website in there and it'll uh tell you what you can do etc in terms of including your seo and that so that's just a program that's if you want to make it a little more advanced if you want to go into a little bit deeper spy foo is definitely a program that you should look at and it's good it can benefit them how so YouTube? yeah as i said as i said is it um allows you to as well i'll just recap so it allows you to compare yourself to a potential competitor um it gives you phrases that people are discovering you on it gives you the phrases that people are discovering your competitor on and then if you're doing pay-per-click it also helps you with that too because you can see what the cost is and what people are actually clicking so is deerfield beach homes for sale really what you want to do pay-per-click wise i don't know but that's something you that will be able to track for you